What's up, y'all? It's Shuffle. It's October. It's almost November. This is your monthly video, because that's all I can put up anymore. Um, oh, this is the updates. And last time, you know, I talked about how there's some, some social aspects that weren't really good at the time. And uh, we'll go over that at length because I have friends and family that occasionally do watch my shit, which is weird, and so I want to just kind of keep everything anonymous, which sounds so cryptic, but no. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that, I'm going to talk about school, I'm going to talk about videos, because I think the explanation on videos... Maybe I should start with videos. I'm picturing uh, Steve Coogan's character from the other guys when he's <laughs> trying to explain like the big uh, embezzlement scheme or whatever the fuck he was involved with. He's like, I think the best way to tell a story is to start at the beginning and then go to the end and then go back to the beginning and then cover certain characters' points of views throughout the story. I feel like that gives it a more cohesive and he just gets, like, cut off or something. But, no. Um, let's talk about games, actually. Uh, I'm going to... I've already started recording Jet Force Gemini. Game's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Part of it is controls, even though I can use modern controls. The other part is... Um, it's pretty fast-paced or whatever. I, I can't... Like, you'll see it. I get fucking... I don't think I've died yet, but I definitely get hurt a lot, so it's been a little tough, and I've only recorded about an hour and a half's worth of that. Um, the other thing I was trying to record or whatever was, uh, I have something muted on my TV, so I'm laughing at that, but um, yeah, I had, uh, I was going to do Turok, I'm still going to do Turok. And after that, I'm not quite sure. Uh, like I said, it, it's all it's all the same list of stuff that I want to do. I do want to play more Darkest Dungeon because they put out a fat patch that basically changed the entire game from how I was reading it. And I was a little. I almost wanted to make like a patch response video, but I hadn't played it yet either, so I was kind of hmm. Uh, like a big thing. You know, I'm not going to talk about Darkest Dungeon. You all know. Uh, okay, so those are my game goals. And I... I'm sure there's other stuff that I want to play and that I can play. I just I can't think of it offhand because I guess I'm not really prepared for this uh, video. I'm just kind of talking right now. It's already been three minutes. Uh, I want to make a couple of the other stuff I've been talking about for months already. So... If you can find one of the previous channel updates, you'll basically see it's on the table. So that's it for games. If that's all you're here for, peace out. I love you. And then we'll go to uh, social stuff. Basically what happened was there are a couple different things going on, you know, with the, the people that I talk to and know normally. Uh, some people are having their own problems. Uh, I was having some some issues myself or whatever and well no not or whatever just that's what was happening and uh, one of the big ones was two people I knew were like having issues with each other like a disagreement or something like that between the the two of them and anytime these instances that caused malice between the two people happen, I was rarely there. So, basically, I... These people would come to me and it would be like, uh, this person said this, and I'm upset, and then the other person would say, the person said this, and I'm upset. So, basically, they are both mad, and I was kind of getting, like, one side. I was getting each side independently where both of them were kind of the victim, and so I had to play fucking CSI or whatever and put it together as best I could, knowing both people. 
And what irritated me more is that both people wanted me to side against the other person. So, like, person A wanted me against person B, person B wanted me against person A. And it's not like wanted me against in, like, that explicit of a term, but, like, they wanted me to be on... Each person wanted me to be on their side. And it got to the point where they said, I can't talk to them anymore, you need to talk to them for me. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> We're all adults, why the fuck... Am I in the middle of this? And that's just the short end. Uh, there was more stuff that was equally as bad and probably worse that I just uh, don't want to get into. But that was happening since, like, July or something. And just between that and a lot of the other stuff going on, uh, it just got really really frustrating so it was really hard to focus on anything I like I even slipped in school where I had to drop one class and I may and today I just took my last midterm and I may be in trouble with this last class we'll see uh, even though the midterm wasn't too hard just during the during all this how all this was happening in terms of all the other stuff I have to do or whatever uh, it's very hard for me to keep up with some of the stuff in my classes, and this was one of them. And I didn't realize how much I didn't know until the midterm. I mean, the midterm was multiple choice, so I made a bunch of educated guesses, but... You know, I like I spent a couple days with my notes going... I'll, I'll talk about school in a sec, actually, but... Uh, yeah, so there were a lot of repercussions there, and the... The YouTubes was also one of them, but there's a lot going on with YouTube as well, and I think we'll uh, we'll get to that in a sec. So school, I talked about school before. I had five classes. I now have four. There was one class I was taking that was a research class, and even though it was three units, this teacher, I have not, I've only seen one other class with this kind of workload, where I was. Uh, the class is only once a week. And so I'd be there once a week. And then when I wasn't there, she had... She didn't make all of her assignments due the same day either, because I like to go, okay, this day is for this class, this day is for this class, and that's how I usually approach my homework and shit. This person had it, so it'd be like, okay, I need you to do a quiz on Wednesday... And then do an online submission on Friday. And then on Sunday you have to uh, do something else or whatever. And then on Tuesday we're going to do something in class. And it just, it pissed me off because the reason it was structured that way was because the teacher would always, every single class would start off, because I, I went to it for six weeks. She would start off every class with saying, 60% uh, of my students drop or fail. And it just, it pissed me off so much. And with this class, it, there was a, uh, since it was a research class, you're building on like a big, you're basically doing a big paper the whole time. And the assignments, the reason the structure of when they were doing shit was irritating was because um, the, si the assignments were all like these little check-in things just to make sure you're doing shit like a fucking parent that's up your ass the whole time. I don't need that when <laughs> I'm in school. You know, I would like to be treated like an adult, not a little, you know, whatever the fuck. And so, like, some of the assignments were just basic bitch mode, like, you'd read something go, copy-paste a sentence out of this just to make sure you fucking did it or something. Not, not, like, quite there, but, like, one of them was we had to go to a presentation in the library or something. Not or something, that's what we had to do. And at the end of the presentation, she said, okay, just grab a, a link from, you know, something we talked about and just copy-paste the link. That's all you have to do. Just a little stupid shit where I was like, oh, I could have stayed home or something. <laughs> I have to come to this shit. And so, this, uh, this teacher, like I said, everything kind of builded on its... Builded? Built? Built. Built on itself. And so, uh... There was one specific instance where 
Uh, she asks you to read over something and then answer four questions and then send in the questions and then you had to, this was the big one, because we're preparing to write the paper and she would ask you to answer those questions and then send in stuff about your paper that you wanted to do and then the teacher was going to give you feedback and then she was going to randomly send it to two other people and those people would also give you feedback. And it was kind of this community thing. And I was like, all right, that's great. Because I uh, I usually don't like working with people. But I don't mind random comments. Because I don't have to fucking deal with them in person. Or whatever. Because most of the time you get uh, comments when you try and like critique each other. This has always been my experience. Where I'll send, you know, I'll show them my outline or my draft or something. They go, yeah, that's pretty good. And just hand it back to me. I'm like... Oh, that doesn't help me at all. That literally doesn't do shit for me. You know, and I go through and I go, what do you think about doing with this? You know, you mentioned this. Do you think you have enough information to fill out this uh, point that you're trying to do? Right? I would give them some solid fucking feedback. And I never get that. And so, this time, uh, the teacher kind of understood the same thing. She said, you can't just send them something that says, good job, and that's it. And I went, great. Fantastic. You know, I, uh... I'm down with that. And so it turns out uh, the teacher never gave me feedback and something happened with the other two students. Either they dropped and like all this was selected beforehand so they never got it or something. And this assignment that I'm talking about two days after the due date the professor emails me and says Oh, by the way, you get a zero on this assignment because you got this one, one part wrong. That's it. Like, for one of the questions, I had to explain something and say, uh, just like I had to pick two categories or something, and I didn't realize I had to pick these specific subcategories. I just picked general categories, but, it, like, the paper was literally categories and there's about like four of them and then subcategories there's about 20 of those and I had to pick two out of the 20 but you know I honest mistake just uh what is it honest mistake I just didn't you know catch that specific and she took my whole assignment and said yeah I have to give you a zero because that's what, like, she said something stupid where, um, she said, since I already know what the assignment is, she can't give me credit. So, you know, basically, she can't give me credit for fixing a mistake, so she has to give me a zero for one minor mistake. And that knocked my grade from, you know, because we didn't have much turned in at that point. That knocked my thing down from an A to a fucking B. And... Because she waited two days to tell me that, I could not get feedback from the other students. So I literally... Oh, and then the next day, I had to turn in the revised version of that same assignment. So I never got any feedback on how to fix the important part of my assignment, which was what the paper I was going to do, because that's what I wanted the feedback on. So I never got any feedback from anyone on that. And then I had to turn in a revised version the next day, and I, I submitted it, and everything was fine in terms of the structure, and I answered the questions correctly. And when I sent it in, I messaged the teacher with it, because it was online, and I said, yes, I really desperately need you to tell me, like, to criticize what I have given to you and send it to other people. Like, I need something to start, or to help me you know, fine-tune what I'm looking for with this, this paper. Because, you know, I've got other stuff going on, and having three people critique something is a lot better than me trying to struggle with it for, you know, however long. And she never graded that. After two weeks, she never touched it. And in between, then, more assignments kept coming in, like, and we had to start submitting research that we had, and I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking for at this point, because you haven't given me any help on any of the stuff and I was emailing her like twice a week and she just never gave it to me and like that's in the easy part of the class too and we we're gonna have to start really busting ass coming up and so the uh 
since I was having trouble already with the easy stuff, and it was taking me a long time to do as it was, right? I was spending, for a three unit class, you're kind of expecting to put in between like six and maybe 12 hours a week, usually closer to six. They like to say, yeah, it's about three hours per one unit, and I, that's largely not true in my experience, unless it's been like a math or a science class. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you count reading as the homework, then sure. But I mean, usually three unit classes don't really shovel shit on top of you, but uh, I would, I spent, I remember what caused me to, I really hate this headset at this point, it's just so noisy. I keep hearing it every couple seconds. <laughs> oh well. I, I had to submit another assignment, which was like all the research. I had to submit like a set number of things that I've researched to her for approval and feedback, but I'm still waiting on feedback from assignments from two weeks ago at this point, and I spent the whole weekend, not the whole weekend, I spent two days, I guess that's the whole weekend, uh, I spent two days looking up shit to put in my paper, and we had to, the whole exercise was to learn how to use, like I know how to use databases and shit, but she wanted stuff that was so specific, she's like, you need like things from they can only be these things. It wasn't other stuff. She's like, you can't use any outside sources. It has to be through our shit. It can only be these things from these engines and these categories. So it's like, you know, I would do some searches and get some shit. And I only had about half of what I was supposed to have. And that took me two days. Two fucking days. And I only had half of what I needed. And I wrestled with the decision so long because the other thing she had in her class, which was completely stupid, is if you missed one, if you missed an assignment, if you just straight missed one, you automatically fail. So that was obnoxious. I've been ranting about this bitch for like 10 minutes, geez. Anyway, long story short, I ended up having to drop the class because I just, I was already falling behind and I was putting so much work into this class that it was causing me to fall behind in my other classes. Mainly, the one I probably screwed up the midterm on today, because I exchanged reading for that class with working in this other class that I was dropping, and, uh, what is it? So, it was stupid too, because when I went to drop the class, I was going to drop it Monday night, This not like last Monday or whatever, but a couple weeks ago, I was going to drop it on a Monday night. Because I just, I felt so overwhelmed by this class. Like, I had anxiety. I was waking up in the middle of the night worried about this class. It was stressing me out so bad. I was putting fucking couple dozen hours a week into it. And I felt like I was barely getting through it. And I just, I, there, no three unit class should require that much effort for that, uh, I guess that outcome. You know, not at my level. Not at this shit. So... I was going to drop that class, and I waited. I waited one more day. I said, you know what? Let's not make a rash decision. Let's sleep on this shit. And so I slept on it. That, this was Monday night. I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning. I worked on it for a couple more hours with one of the assignments before I went to class. And I couldn't get it done. And I said, I can't even turn this in. I'm going to fucking fail. So I went, you know what? Let me just quit this shit. And I went to drop it. I missed the drop day by one day. I should, if I dropped it Monday, there wouldn't have been a problem. And then they were like, oh, now you got to get a drop form. And you have to get everyone involved. You have to get the teacher to sign it. And then you have to get the head of her department to sign I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was so used to my other... Uh, what the fuck is my... My headset's stuck. There we go. Uh, I was so used to my other... My community college where as long as it's in the first 12 weeks, you can drop it. No one says shit. There are no hoops. The only difference is you usually don't get refunded if it's not the first two weeks. But that's fine. Everyone's cool with that. But instead, for some reason, they make it so fucking hard to drop a class at this school. And I don't understand why. Because it's like, I'm already paying. You already got my money. Like, why? Why? It, It's upsetting, actually, because it forces... Uh, In the long term, it just screws over students. Because it's like, you're forced to stay in there. 
and potentially fail. And if you're in my situation where you get fucking federal funding, failing classes is just detrimental. Like, you could, it could cause you to drop out of college because you can't fucking afford to be there anymore. And that's kind of the situation I'm facing because I I got the drop form. I got the teacher to sign it, and she gave me hell of shit for it. She's like, well, you realize you have to go to my department, right? Get them to sign it. You have to type up a statement and tell them you have a bunch of extenuating circumstances. And I don't know why you're doing this. Like, shut the fuck up and sign my shit, please. I don't need the lecture. And I smiled and I was polite, but the whole time I was just, I was irritated. She was so, she was an asshole, right? And I went to the department. And I was going to see if they let me skirt the personal statement. And the department secretary just kind of threw it in my face. She was like, oh... If you came here yesterday, you wouldn't have had to do this. I was like, ah, uh, or not if I came here. So she's like, you could have dropped yesterday and avoided this. I went, yep, 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 yep. She went, yeah, you need a statement. And to be clear, most statements get rejected or something. I was like, oh, my freaking, oh, my fucking God, please get out of my face. Let me do this. <laughs> and, um, oh, man. So... It, it it was just upsetting because I missed it by one day. And I was going to type the statement. This is where it gets even stupider or more dumb. I was going to type the statement. And I went to class the next day. And I had the I had the, the sheet that I had to have everyone sign. I had it uh, in my backpack, but it wasn't in anything. It was just sitting in my backpack. And it almost fell out of my backpack when I was trying to get something out. And I went, oh man, if I'm... If I didn't notice that, it might have slipped under my seat or something just because of, you know, gliding around and shit. And it would have been gone. I would have missed it. And I thought, I don't know how this happened. I guess I do know how, but... So my brilliant fucking self said, I need to keep this safe. And I put it in one of my notebooks in a spot that I never look at. And I said, this is probably the safest place it will be. This way I won't lose it. And I put it in there. And then, because my memory is fucking goldfish tier, a day later, when I went to type the statement, I was going to grab the form, and I went, I can't find the fucking form. I must have lost it in class. So I went to class the next day, didn't see the form. And I was like, oh my god. I must have lost the fucking form. I don't want to have to print it again to get the teacher's signature and go through that shit a second time. And I was just... I was already so upset at that point. Like, this is all with everything else that's been happening. So I was already so irritated, and I went, and keep in mind, it was just in a notebook somewhere, I just, I forgot about that, and so I just said, fuck it, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the F, because my GPA should be high enough to where I'll still get funding, and the college I go to has something called grade forgiveness, where if I retake the class, it'll erase the F, so there's really, as long as I don't fucking fail, any like anything else this semester I should be okay and uh, so what ended up happening well that's part of the reason I'm worried because I'm now in danger of potentially failing another class and I hope that's not the case because if I fail too I'm gonna be out like almost fifteen thousand dollars a year for school and I don't think that my college career will continue if that is the case. So, we are trying to avoid that situation, so hopefully I don't fail that midterm. Uh, but yeah, that's the school thing in a nutshell. And school's just been frustrating. You know, like, I, I went to community college. I had some great teachers at community college, no joke. I had some, most of my teachers were from some, you know, well-established California school, or they taught there, or they graduated, you know, I had a lot of teachers from Berkeley, uh, a lot of teachers from Davis, big science and math schools, you know, and I had, I had a history teacher, probably the best teacher I've ever had, like, the further away I get from him, I've had some good teachers, the further away I get from this guy specifically, I realize this guy is just probably the best teacher I've ever seen, and I could talk about him another time, but... Uh, he previously taught at Stanford, and I think there's more to his story, but uh, he said he was teaching at Stanford, and he said he got bored of it because 
he would go he would go into like because he taught history and he would go into his classes and he would give out the tests and everyone would get A's and be like yay you're all so smart and he said I don't feel like I'm doing anything here and so he said this is why I decided to come to a fucking shithole community college to he said where he felt his services were better required and it, I mean there's some comedy and some arrogance in there and I don't think that's the whole truth. Maybe something happened. I feel like something happened with him at Stanford or something that caused him to uh, to do that. Because he still talks about like student debt and shit. He's in his 50s. I don't think he has student debt anymore. But he talks about like how much student debt he had. Maybe that's what he did. He just stayed there till he paid off his debt. I don't know. But anyway. Um, so I had these great teachers there. And I got some good education. And... Um, you know, and it was affordable. I actually, I still got, like, federal aid or whatever, but I could have uh, paid for, like, the unit cost was so cheap. It was only, like, 500 a, a term. I'd spend, like, a 1000 a year on class, so that's, that is easily manageable, you know. And it was closer, so I didn't have to commute. The school I go to now, I have to, it takes me about two hours to get there. A little under two hours, about an hour 45 so I'm on the road for about three and a half hours a day, which is fucking dog shit. I mean, everything's just stressing me out, stressing me out about school or whatever. Uh, because I'm going to the school now where I'm paying fucking like six times the money, probably more, and the uh, I'm getting worse results for what I'm paid for. Two of my teachers. Because, like, I had that asshole for my research class. I don't go to that class anymore. And two of my teachers, I have one for two classes, but two of my teachers just don't... It, they just ramble. The entire class is just them talking a bunch of fucking nonsense. One of them doesn't even get anything done. He spends the first 20 minutes taking attendance, and then he complains about how everyone talks to him in person instead of messaging him online when they have issues and then he doesn't and he just spends the rest of the class like calling people out because they didn't read you know he'll just he'll pick a couple topics from whatever and then ask people about it randomly and he just he'll sit there and just embarrass the fuck out of you until you just want to kill yourself almost because no one can answer him and then he he does the uh, Socratic method of teaching where even if you answer him, he just asks more questions. So he just sits there and he just asks you questions until he just gets bored or something. I don't fucking know. But he just... It gets to the point where people just... When he starts getting on their ass, he goes... Or not him, but like the students start going, I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. He goes, well, I'm just saying what you said, but I'm just repeating it back to you. Right? He tries to embarrass people. He thinks it's funny. And there's a... Oh, man. Like, it's... He doesn't lecture at all, either. He just talks to people. And it's fucking frustrating. People in that class now don't even bring notebooks. There's... Like, half the class doesn't show up. And the other half sits there, and there's nothing on their desk, or they just get on their phone. Like, no one brings anything. It's such a fucking awful class. It's stupid. And he gave a fucking online midterm that had a hundred multiple choice questions and it took me like almost nine hours over two days probably more than that I got an A but still it, it was stupid just wait like why is it a hundred questions but this is what I'm saying like I'm so upset with this school that I'm at and I probably just got the shit teachers because I had to go through orientation like last because of my major and I uh, didn't get first pick at teachers, but it's stupid because like three of my classes are just, there's no point to me even physically being in the classroom. And it's really, it's, it's so frustrating because I'm sitting here like, I pay thousands of dollars to sit here and you just fucking waste my time with pointless shit. It's just, I, again... You combine everything, you know, like all the social problems I was having, and then the fact that school is just this fucking mess that I have to spend, like, 
18 hours a week traveling to and from. Just it's frustrating. And then I get to uh Man, this video is going the fucking distance. Strap up, saddle in, boys. But uh, and then we get to YouTube, and I need to make a rant video about YouTube, but uh, YouTube is just so stupid at this point. Like, I didn't make a lot of money from YouTube, and I was never in the YouTube for the monies, but I will say that the money YouTube gave me was, it helped. It was a helpful amount. I spent it, like, it would always be cash in a pinch, or... You know, because we're talking increments of, you know, less than a few hundred dollars. I don't think I can actually, I can't, I don't know what the fucking policy is. I'm, it's not like I'm going to get sniped by YouTube. I just want to cover my bases, but, um, you know, I, and plus, if you want to know how much YouTube pays or whatever, you can just fucking Google that shit. There's some pretty accurate metrics. Um, but yeah, you know, the cash was good in a pinch. If I ever needed it, or sometimes I could you know, buy me a game, or some food, or something, you know, like a nice dinner, right, it, it was cool, and so we get to, yeah, I'm, that's right, I am talking about YouTube, so, um, what is it, and then they had Adpocalypse, which was just fucking nonsense, and after that, they put in a policy where they demonetized every channel that had didn't have enough uh, viewer watch hours and had under a thousand subs. Like I said, I was never in this for the money itself, but like you don't want to see stuff you do fail or not succeed, right? You put time and effort, not that I put too much effort into my videos anymore, which my fault, but the uh, like the reason I'm making this connection is because the moment I got like demonetized from YouTube, um. Like, I, I just saw, like, a sharp cutoff in my, my channel growth. And a big reason is because I'm not pulling the money. They don't have to plug me because I'm not getting the money anymore. Which is pretty pretty irritating, to see the uh, say the least. And the metrics were you had to have 1,000 subs and over 4,000 hours of viewership a year. I don't have 1,000 subs. I crush that viewer number. I have almost 20,000 hours a year probably more at this point too because that this was like two years ago like it's weird people a lot of my stuff that I put up people don't get to it till like two years later and that's okay that is honestly okay so I have stuff with a lot of views that just people don't hit the fucking subscribe button and so this kind of screwed me over there and the reason it frustrates me is because YouTube sends out some bullshit where they're saying yeah the reason we're doing this is to crack down on channels that rehost shit or just post really short videos but I don't know, have like big sub counts or some dumb shit. But they really wanted to just get rid of the plagiarists basically. And that is some bullshit because you could type in any compilation or whatever. There's so many channels with thousands or tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of subs and views and shit like that. And all they do is just they found out how to use OBS or Fraps or whatever else to record other people's content, and they just do that. They don't even make any edits or commentary. They just, yep, I'm going to do fucking Twitch streamer highlights, and that's all I'm going to do. And they just take all the clips that they can find for that week on that streamer, and then just make a video, and they get fucking paid for it. So that's why that shit is bullshit, and that's just a preview of what that video is going to be like when I talk about it. Or maybe I'll just cut this segment and put that up there, but... Is some bullshit, and I am just really irritated with how YouTube operates at this point. Plus, my uh, computer hardware and stuff like that isn't. I'm gonna have to break this video up, just because. Uh, what you call it? It's just it's too long. I'm not gonna make people sit through. All that shit. I'm gonna, yeah, I already know what I'm gonna do. Anyway, um, so I'm just, I'm not happy with YouTube anymore, really. And I thought about going to Twitch, but my computer can't handle streaming anymore. Uh, it barely could before, but my computer's so worn out and dying. And that's not even getting into the financial problems that I'm having right now. 
It's the other reason I'm another layer of my upsetness because I don't have enough free time to hold down a job. I, maybe I do at this point. Maybe I could work like 10 hours, but I don't know. But yeah. So I'm having some troubles there, and so I can't get the computer I wanted, or any computer really. And uh, I've always had setbacks, which is just stupid. And so I thought about just going to Twitch when I can, whenever I can get a computer. You know, maybe I'll try and budget one in the the coming months or something like that when I get uh, another wave of of the fundings. But if I can get a computer that's not from 2010, then I could probably stream and handle that. I think streaming's... It's weird, because streaming isn't going to... I don't know. Twitch is a whole different beast at this point. And I think the boat's mostly gone for Twitch and YouTube. If I can be quite honest, I feel like Twitch and YouTube both... If you're starting out, it's good fucking luck at this point. You have to really get some some hostage from popular people. And I I'm not like the biggest success on you know online content, but I definitely know what's happening. It's just a lot of things that you're supposed to do I really didn't do. And um what is it with uh Twitch and YouTube, just it feels like the boat's gone basically. And I'm kind of upset at myself for a few things. Like there is specifically a couple videos that I could have made. One of them was about like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I wanted to make a video talking about it and what happened to it like six months ago. More than that, about eight months ago. And I just took too long to make it. And then Maximilian made one. And I love Max, so I'm not upset that he did it. Of course, he would have made one, but he made one. And I still could have done something that he didn't. But I was just, like, thinking to myself, people are just going to go, oh, you're copying him, bro. So I just went, whatever, fuck it. And then we fast forward to the year anniversary of Marvel Infinite, and the same I had the same thought. I was like, I should probably still make that video. And then on the year anniversary, this, uh... It's this guy's first video. His name was Stumblebee. And he made a really good video. Um, in terms of, like, production quality, it was pretty good. I think it gave a basic understanding of the situation. I, I talked to him when he first put it up, because I was on the Reddit. And, uh... What is it? There, There's a lot more that he didn't include that he could have. And I'm thinking, okay, I could have did that too if I made that video, but... You know, I didn't. And then I come back, like, a couple days later, and the video blew up. You know, Maximilian talked about it. Uh, his channel already got, like, a good taking off point. So he's already... You know, let's take a look. Because I'm in my computer. My chair's all loud and creaky, but let's go to... Damn. This thing is hot. He has two and a half thousand subs. And this video is at 250,000 views. Already. And he has... The one video... And this goes into how, uh, this is almost a point where I want to stop talking because reasons, but personally, it's weird. I waste time, but I hate wasting time. It's one of these battles I have with myself. And there goes my dog barking. Uh, I hate wasting potential. And I see this video and I'm like, fuck. I could have done that. I probably could have done it better. I'm not upset that he made it. I'm mad at myself that I didn't make it. And I'm sitting here going, fuck. Just, that was it. Like, if I made something like that and it took off like that, like, if I made one video that got 250,000 views and, like, almost 3,000 subs on its own, I'd be going. I have enough content at this point where they'd be like, oh, shit. Right? So... I don't know, I'm mad at myself for that one. That just comes... That just compounds everything with the lack of YouTube videos. That's basically the whole point of this. Is... There's just... There's a lot of shit happening. Which... To be fair, things could be much worse. 
I'm sure was some uh, from someone that has a much tougher situation than I do. They'd be like, "You really bitching about this?" I mean, there. I think the worst aspects I haven't spoken about, but for the most part, just this collective shit is just irritating, and depressing, and it makes me not want to do this shit anymore. And at the same time, it's weird. On the one hand, I don't want to do this anymore. Or at least I want to go to Twitch or something else. And on the other hand, I hate failing. I don't want to go, hey, I failed. And then not do this. So I'm in this weird uh, situation. So I'm not I'm not quitting this. Um, yeah, this is my long-winded version of... Uh, I think I will I'll upload the the stuff. Right? I don't even know what I'm gonna put in the background of this. I might just put like an, an image or something. Oh man, where were we? I almost choked because my mouth is so dry from all the talking. So I've been talking for I did like a a take one that didn't go very far, and then combined with this I've been talking for almost an hour straight. Oh man, I don't have any water with me. I usually have water. I just hit the headset. I usually have water at the fucking desk when I record, bro. I'm smarter than this. But yeah. So, I'm still going to make stuff. And I want to get back to a regular posting schedule. Dropping that stupid fucking research class helped out. And I'm starting to get over my my emotions. I'm starting to get over that shit. So, I have I have desire. Again, that's good. The big part was I didn't have desire to make shit. Now I have desire to make it. So I need to... Uh, not need to. I just need to start putting stuff together. I already recorded a couple... JFG, Jet Force Gemini videos that I need to put together. Alright, so that was cut number two. I don't know where the fuck we're at, but... Uh, yeah, so... I'll get back to making stuff. And... I kind of want to do some different stuff, too. Or I need to, uh, what do I need to do? Like, I don't just want to make the Let's Plays and stuff. I want to make some other stuff. I thought about doing D&D &D campaign diaries kind of thing, because I play twice a week now. And that might be kind of fun. It's more talking. Uh, I want to get a webcam. I could probably afford a webcam, like a shitty one. But me, uh, basically, I want to just redo my whole setup. I want... I want a new computer, I want to be able to use a different microphone, because the reason I can't use a real microphone that I paid for, I bought a Blue Yeti like every other cool kid, but I did it like three years ago before it was fucking cool, dude, alright? So, I would have to get a new computer, because my computer is so noisy and loud, and it vibrates, you know, because it just, because it's loud and the, the fans and shit. Uh, that if I put, for one, if I use a microphone like a Blue Yeti, it's going to pick up my computer noise hella bad. Two, if I put it on the desk, it's going to absorb the vibrations, because I did this before. So, my computer's gentle humming sends slight vibrations through the the table, and it would go through the microphone. So, I need a whole new system before I can use that, and I can get rid of this headset that just irritates me now. You know, the headset's pretty good, it's just the fact that it's so worn out and old, that the the head can, uh, headpiece part, like the the whole thing's a headpiece, but the uh, where the earmuffs connect to the 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 headband, those connections are super loose at this point. So just me talking, like my jaw moving, even though it's all the way up on my ear, my jaw moving shakes the the headset. That's why it makes noise. But yeah, so I need to. I want to continue with this, I just, I need to change everything, and to change everything I need money, and to get money, I need to keep my grades up, and also finish fucking college, and get a job, like a good job, because I've been working shit jobs for a while, I'm just tired of working shit jobs, to get all the cool stuff going, I have to do all the bullshit, all the bullshit's going to take a bit longer, and outside of the, those bullshits, there's more bullshit, so, oh man, I don't know what the point of this was anymore. Start off about games, then it became this this bitch fest.
So, <laughs> um, I'll think of something on how I want to present these. I'm probably just going to put this up with like a picture or a black screen. <laughs> black screen, my voice is giving out. And just say that, uh, here I am talking. So if you're going to drive somewhere and want to hear some, uh, some person overthink and over bitch about their minor problems, here you go. And then we'll do that. That's pretty cool. Man, I'm waiting for it too. Someone's going to call me out like, wow, Shuffle, you sound like a little fucking bitch. I don't know why you made this video. You know, I used to like all your videos, and then you made this fucking whiny bitch shit, and I'm going to downvote this and your other 900 and something videos, and then I'm going to unsubscribe, and I'm going to post you online, and my friends are going to bash you. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. I don't know if anyone's going to go that far, but it may happen. <laughs> That's bullshit, but I believe it. Oh! Okay. So, here's the other thing, too. The other reason I kind of slowed down on videos... I like when I do have free time, which is a couple days a week sometimes. You know, like in the evenings I'll have some free time. I will uh I'll watch like Twitch. You know, like Moon Moon gets me through the day almost at this point because of how shitty things have been. And so just watching I feel so I feel so comfortable and at peace when those streams are on. So I like watching those. And outside of those, if I have free time, I'm usually planning D&D because I DM a game. And then, uh, oh man, this is why I want to do a campaign diary because I want to talk about last week. I may fucking do that, alright? I just don't, I need, I feel like I need a webcam for that. So, I don't know. I might do that. I might do that this week. I think I will. We may start that. Oh man, alright boys, I'm going to cut it here. Real quick though, the other reasons that... I don't. My voice is giving out so bad. Like you can you can hear it at this point. Yeah. So, uh, like I said I'm planning D and D, and then I play D and D twice a week. So that's basically where the rest of my free time goes. And the uh, the other thing is I'm playing when I do have time. I play uh, Pathfinder. I was gonna say Pathfinder. Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's a PC game that came out a little bit ago. It's like a classic CRPG. I think it's redundant. I think it's classic RPG is CRPG, but uh, if you know those Baldur's Gates and stuff like that, it's that kind of game. And I think it's way better than Pillars of Eternity and Divinity. I played both of those. I haven't played Divinity 2, but or Original Sin 2, but uh, I think I think Kingmaker, it's buggy as fuck, but I think it's better than the recent uh, games in its genre. <clears throat> and so I've been having fun with that. Which I'm sure the couple people that have added me from YouTube on Steam probably see me playing that shit if I'm not invisible. Yeah. Anyway, probably gonna make this one or two videos, I don't know yet. Uh, if you somehow made it to this point, thanks. Because I know it's a lot. This is, I mean, at this point, complaining about it for so long, like for such a long time, this was more for me than it was for you. Because I could have gave you the short update. And, uh,. I may do that. I may make the short update video in a minute. Like, I may get some water. Make sure I, I'm not dried the fuck out, and then I'll give a, a short update. But anyway, I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will put up more stuff soon. I'm going to do Jet Force Gemini this week at some point. And uh, your support means a lot to me, even though I'm inconsistent. <laughs>